How's it going guys? Welcome back to Grimm's Hollow. After I had played the first part of this game, I put out a poll that was Grimm's Hollow, Other Her Loving Embrace, and Some Distant Memory. Three little videos I had done and I said, which of these do you want to see turned into a full series? Other ended up winning that series, but at various times it had kind of flipped and Grimm's Hollow took the lead like two or three separate times, and in the time since, that video singularly has become much more popular than the original other video. The game kind of has found a foothold, it has a fan base, it's, it's carried on like a life of its own. I really enjoyed the game, and so I'm super down to just keep playing it. Feels like a pretty legit win-win-win. <laughs> now it's coming almost a month later and like I left off walking into this cave where there's supposedly something dangerous. So I might just be walking into an immediate death. I have to like remember how to play. I was doing a bit of backtracking because I want to have like a practice fight. And over over in this area where we have this guy staring at the little sign in the wall, the ghost cave, sometimes have ghost walls, that whole thing. There is actually a little section over here that I have either never been to or just kind of missed previously. So it seems like a good opportunity for me to like brush up on my uh, fighting skills. Oh man, okay, and there's totally a wall that can be broken through there, and there's 10 of the SE sitting above it. So yeah, this is like way back, kind of towards the start of things, like I'm pretty sure this is the cave entrance. Yeah, there, there's totally a secret wall as soon as you enter. Oh, I reset everything. I guess I'm getting a lot of practice in then. You could totally see where that was hidden up above there, so I knew there had to be a way to get to that room. I just wanted to like search around for it a little bit. It's kind of funny just mowing through enemies at this point. I would collected enough spirit energy and, and invested it back in myself that I'm too deadly. Oh nuts, but I've already ended up back here. Ooh, I'm gonna upgrade my speed a little bit more because the ability to go first is like huge especially when you have characters that use things like defend Ooh, shatter seems like it could be useful it looks like it would get rid of swords or shields that's now i'm looking at a picture of a sword sure i'll learn strengthen i'll improve my special a few times uh my strength again there I, i've invested quite a lot I wish I had more things to heal with, but I, I kind of just have to make do. Timmy? Where are you? Lavender? Is that you? Timmy! Lavender! Hold on! I'm coming to get- Oh no, you're not! It got... <laughs> There's something about the way that his, like, ghost tail swishes around that makes me- I like to picture these doing this with the ghost tail. <laughs> do you remember me? We met not too long ago at the inn. Well, I wouldn't think you'd care. You just reaped a dozen ghosts like me. Uh, thanks for your help, but I'd like to collect my brother. I think this is the guy who told me to even specifically come here. Ooh, he's getting spooky. Collect? That's a nice word for reap. Uh, no. I should never have helped. You're just like the other reapers. I just want to take my brother and go home. Let me through. No, you've done enough harm. Oh god, he's... I don't like the hole in the face there. No, you've done enough harm. You're not reaping him if it's the last thing I do. Oh yeah, this is a jam. Okay, we got Perry, Carol, and I don't get to see the name of the other ghost. Obviously he's got a shield, so I gotta, I gotta be careful with what I do here. Alright, hopefully I can put my, uh, I don't know, re-found skills to the test. I'm guessing, he, since he hasn't had a chance to actually use the shield yet. Yes, perfect. He protected his friends, not himself, is what I'm gathering from that. Mm, that extra speed is nice. Oh, I missed. Maybe, maybe I do have to pierce. Dodge! Yeah, I think I nailed that. Oh, get out of here with all the healing. I gotta get try to get through to Carol if I can. Or does it just make sense to keep focusing? Ah, he's protected. Alright. At this point, I've built up enough special that I should be able to go pierce Carol. I, I think I really, really need to focus on that a little bit. Oh, I kind of feel like I should be trying to use... That's kind of epic, isn't it? Oh, it didn't do much damage at all. Oh, I am taking so much damage. Did I do it? Okay, you gotta, you gotta heal, man. You gotta eat a spice, spicy cookie. 
I know that's not what it was, but I got messed up. Dodge! Okay, perfect. Uh, strengthen. I do want to try and strengthen myself up a little bit and see if I how big of a difference that makes. Oh god, okay, I'm trying to... Oh, mm, nope, no, I botched that. I was trying to, like, queue... Nice! Okay, I was trying to, like, queue up my attack. Attack! Well, at the same time, try to dodge, and then you could see I was, like, switching what enemy I was targeting. Strengthen is ridiculous! I, I should just always make sure I use Strengthen. That battle suddenly became so easy as soon as that was taken care of. Reaped up a whole bunch of uh, energy. Timmy? Are you still there? Oh my god, Lavender! What's with your eyes? Lavender? Timmy the ghost. Are you okay? Y you can't be a ghost. Timmy? Lavender. Boy, why are you crying, Lala? Tim? Yeah? Hide inside my pocket, and whatever you do, do not come out until I say so. Stay invisible, otherwise... I don't know if I can protect you. Is that clear? Okay. Someone in the first video had a really messed up theory that maybe Lavender had killed themselves as a way to, to come fetch Timmy. Maybe that's part of why their eyes are like hollow. I don't know. I don't know if there's enough lore established at this point to know something like that, but if anyone does know, Spoiler free. Wait, wait till we finish the game. Cause we're gonna play the whole thing. There you are. Where were you? I was worried sick. Figuratively speaking, that is, I can't be sick. Uh, I went for a walk. I wanted to stretch my legs. I see. Well, now that you're up, I may as well invite you for tea. I don't suppose you mind walking a bit further. I would like to rest first. Uh, I'll have tea with you. I'll go straight for the tea, I guess. I kind of want to heal, but I don't want to offend. Excellent. I don't recall if I gave these characters voices before. So, Lavender, which of these treats are your favorite? Is it a cookie, a cake, or are you into muffins or donuts? I do think I like all of them. I'm a pretty big sucker for cookies, though. The baker is dying to know. Wait. That's not the correct word. Pardon me. He's eager to know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. I think it would have went over my head that that was like potentially uncool in the afterlife. I like cookies. Yeah, I can't pass up a snickerdoodle. Ever. Ah, uh, yes. That is the first thing I ever baked. It was also the last on account of me setting the oven on fire. Is that, is that how you died? As the living say, that is the way the cookie combusts. <laughs> Mr. Grimm, I've got a question. No need for formality. You can call me Grimm. Ask away. Can a ghost or reaper ever live again? No. Unless, unless they had a soul. I don't understand. Don't we have souls? No. I'm afraid you're all just spirits. There's a difference. When you die, your soul disintegrates because you don't need it anymore. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like, the way it transitioned to the soul energies we've been seeing. All that's left is a spirit, which makes you either a ghost or a reaper. But, every now and then, there are beings who arrive here with a soul completely intact. Normally, when this happens, I redirect them back to life. This is a rare occurrence, however. Anyways, more oolong tea. Yes, please. It smells nice. I just want to keep this conversation going a bit longer. I feel like I'm getting useful information. Do you have any more questions? Why were you mad about balloons? Are you a god? How did I die more? What about the balloons? <laughs> you remember that? Well, I wanted to throw the party first. I was gonna set up balloons in this room right here. And when I looked in the closet, all the balloons were gone. Are you a god? No, I'm certainly not. 
As far as my powers go, I can teleport a certain distance, and I can reap ghosts very well. But other than that, I can't do a lot of things. I can't bake, for example. Such an amazing thing, food. <laughs> this guy's pretty chill. Why was I ever concerned about him or his motives, other than the fact that he's like a pulsating mass of shadows? How did I die? I don't know that, I'm afraid. I don't see anything which happens on Earth. Hmm, that could be useful information. information, perhaps if we want to try to deceive. What happens after I pass on? My guess is as good as yours. I've never seen the afterlife, only delivered spirits to it. That's messed up. This guy who's such a crucial part of the afterlife process still doesn't actually know what happens. Like, he doesn't know if he's just chucking all these people, these spirits down a well, and then they're just gone forever, you know? Like a black hole. There's nothing after. He doesn't know. I think I'm good. You know? Usually new reapers don't tend to believe any of this is real. If they do, they start assuming we're a cult. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the masks. But it seems you've taken to the idea rather quickly. Well, it's because I saw Timmy as a ghost, after all. And so, I feel rather concerned. Does he know? What are you trying to say? Simply whether you're alright, Lavender. I care about all my Reapers, yourself included. I'm... I'm, I'm alright, really. That was a cool cutaway of the music and, and like, the flashback. Very well. Baker? You didn't need to sneak into my closet for ingredients, you know. But you looked busy and I was running out of flour. How would you like to teach Lavender to reap? I mean, I would like to help, but you know I don't fight Grim. You'd be better off asking someone else. You don't have to fight anyone. What if they faint? You're the fastest person in the hollow next to me. You can run out of there, carrying them. Well, okay. Excellent. Lavender, whenever you're ready, talk to the baker at the bakery. I'm gonna put away the ingredients. See you later, Lavender. See you later, buddy. Keep doing... Bake me up a batch of snickerdoodles for when I get over there earlier. A mask. It looks incomplete. Yeah, it is missing like a little corner there, isn't it? The knitted fabric and a needle lying on the chair. Uh, investigate our tea. You made sure to finish your oolong tea before leaving. Ah, that's very polite. I wouldn't re recommend going through there if I were you. And that door is an interdimensional portal to a world full of ghosts so horrifying that you would not recover upon seeing them. Why is it here? Oh, it's my morning shift. There are ghosts outside the hollow that must be dealt with. Oh man, he just goes out there and busts up the extreme horror ghosts? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me to lock the closet door, Lavender. I do not enjoy scolding people, but I think I must be more firm about Reapers wandering into my closet whenever they like. What if I went for it now? You, it's locked. You imagine this is where Grimm stalks strange paraphernalia for the hollow. I do want to know what kind of crazy shit he's got in there. Is everything alright, Lavender? I hope the tea was to your taste. Grimm's specialty is reaping ghosts. There's no way I can tell him about Timmy. Everything's fine, thanks to the tea, Grimm. My pleasure, Lavender. Uh, psst, sis, I need to talk to you. The pocket, Timmy. You peek down into your hoodie pocket. What the guy said about having a soul. I had one too. But Timmy, everyone used to have that. No, but I had one when I arrived. What? I remember waking up in the cave and when I looked down, I looked like a person, like I used to. Everything was kind of glowy, like a, a greenish glow. But just kind of, it's everything here is purple, but the only like other color we've seen was the green when Grim was just talking about the soul. But then other ghosts came into the cave, and they were scary, and they started chasing me, so I started running, and then I blacked out. When I woke up again, I felt light, and I, I couldn't see myself. I think my soul is still here, Lavender. Somehow I, I can feel it. Maybe that ghost took it. I believe you. I'll try and find it. Thanks, sis. Now shh. I need, I need to go. I'll look crazy if I'm caught talking to my pocket. You look crazy anyway. 
You stick out your tongue and immediately close your pocket. Mm. <laughs> the, feels good. Feels good to be gently teased in a loving way, you know? The way only siblings truly can. Welcome to the Hollow. I just kind of want to bomb around a little bit and see if I can find things that I hadn't before. Just still full of balloons. Any, like, secret walls or anything? There doesn't seem to be. Bakery it is. Oh, hey, Lavender. I just finished setting up to go. Are you ready? Yeah, I would say so. Cool. Uh, I almost forgot. You can have this. Three spooky cookies, fresh from the oven. My gut instinct said you might be into them. I'm pretty sure I knew as I was doing it that, like, uh, cookies heal 50 health, uh, cakes heal 100 or whatever. I don't know. I thought maybe it would be something cool, like if you chose cookies, then cookies in the game permanently became better. Like that they, the amount of health they were capable of healing would, would go up or something like that. So I was just like, ah, I, I, I like cookies. It's an honest answer and it might improve them. That's whatever. It's fine. Oh, uh, thanks. Appreciates it. Did Grim give you a scythe? Honestly, he's a bit forgetful sometimes. Yeah, I've got a scythe. Just not from Grim. Okay, so we're going to the second cave. That's the one on top of the hill. Let's get going. The baker has joined you. And then he immediately went back to work. Who's that? That's a substitute baker. They don't know how to bake. My sub just takes care of profits while I'm away and most importantly, protects my buns. <laughs> yeah, the, it's a good response from Lavender. I, I agree with that. That's pretty damn funny though. I, I thought it was a glitch. I kind of, part of me hopes it was a glitch, and then the dev was like, whatever, I can make a joke out of this. Situation drags on for a while. Yeah, this, has, this hasn't this has been taken care of yet. The ghastly cavern, Grim's Hollow, death cavern closed. Nothing special. Well, that's where I want to go then. No, wait, east is where I just came from. No, wait, there's east and east. I'm guessing west is supposed to be, the second one is supposed to say west. <laughs> Sorry, but caves closed. Something to do with exploding ghosts, large gaps, broken bridges. Was that just kind of like, ah, uh, whatever, uh, every generic reason for an area of a game being closed all at once? Until Grim finishes restoring it, this area is off limits. Alright, well, I know, I know we're heading up this way anyway. I'm just kind of poking around at other things in the meantime. I guess I can spend some of my spirit energy. I... <laughs> I didn't mean to open my pocket, but it's funny to see that Timmy is in there. Aw, uh, I, can't, I can't talk to him right now. Oh, I also received an oolong tea. Aw, uh, it's got like, uh, the, I don't know, mist or bubbles or whatever it is on the top. Foam is a little skull. Somehow it's still hot. Restores all WP and special. So it's pretty damn strong. Deathlicious donuts. A bunch of spooky cookies. Oh, I only have 39. I thought I was sitting on maybe a bit more than that. I don't really know what the flames do, but I'm going to learn the first flame skill. Just to see. I'm going to enhance strength twice. It's starting to, like, refill up again. I, I did the same thing to my speed. It, like, rolls over and starts filling from the bottom again. I don't know. I thought I would just juice myself up a little bit there. Right, Lavender. I'm going to teach you how to reap a ghost. Uh, or you could just do that. Is that it? Well, no. If you close your eye sockets, then you can use the- I've closed my eyes. I think I'm doing it. I don't think there's much else for you to teach me, Baker. Once he's gone, Timmy and I can find the soul together. Slow down, newbie. I'm not leaving until we- well, you clear this cave. Every newbie does it. Besides, I need to take care of you if you faint. Oh, and on top of that, there's something I want to show you. Mm, and what's that? I can't tell you. It's a surprise. Lead the way, Lavender. Mm, you're holding us up, buddy. I do. I did forget to read this. I do just want to see if it has anything interesting to say. Please note this cave is slippery and damp. Take extra caution when crossing puddles. This cave is open to all reapers. Alright, I, I can see there's wetness everywhere. I hadn't thought it would be an issue. 
you have to hop over gaps in order to travel in this cave. There may be areas hidden by waterfalls. Try not to get lost. Oh, yes, there's where the hops take place. And so anytime there's just like a thin one space thing like that, you can hop it. Otherwise, you cannot. I lost a friend down there. The last time I saw them, they were chasing a waterfall. <laughs> Don't go chasing waterfalls, man. Are you paying attention? They, they've been telling you for ages. Please let me know if you find them. I'll keep an eye out, but it's certainly not going to be a top priority. I got things to worry about here, boy. Oh, okay, I was super confused how to get there. It's not, it's barely a, a puzzle. A hornace? I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not, not a big fan. Oh, and he's stabby too and fast. And he's very fast. Uh, concerns me some. I gotta try and get as many attacks off as quickly as I can. Flinching jab. Uh, that didn't count as a dodge. Sometimes I don't understand. Okay, it did, did very little damage. I should be fine. And he stabbed on top of all that. All right, that's too, that's too many things, man. You can't go doing that much shit that close together, okay? Cymbaloni! I hope the baker is gonna continually hook me up here. I, I, I need a constant supply of cookies if I'm gonna last through this. A shield A, shielda, and a snorer. Probably just leave the snorer alone, I think. A group resilience. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to raise strength like instantaneously. Oh, this thing, this thing just has a ton of uh, health to begin with. Strengthen. I could almost try and do it a second time. Uh, I don't, I don't know if it like stacks though. I'll just try and do a regular attack first. Miss. Oh. All right. Uh, Red flame flames that only work on red spirits. I kind of thought that's how the color thing worked. Once I realized there were so many different flames that you could learn, I, I was starting to grow suspicious that that was the the case. I don't like this. I don't like how many of these gazes this guy's piercing at me. Keep your keep your eyes to yourself, you know. It's too much. It's getting a little dicey too. I, I, I don't like it. I'm trying to spam the hell out of the attack buttons to get through this. I want to go back to the other cave where I was able to super kill everything with without even trying. That was much more pleasant. A lot easier for me to, to cope with, you know. Ah, the speed of that changes, and I think it changes depending on the enemy that you're targeting. So it, it kind of throws off your rhythm sometimes. I, I'm, I'm not confident that's exactly how it's working, but they seem to coincide at least some. Kind of fades in and out, which is interesting. Mm. He was clearly running a very specific pattern. I thought it would be cool to try and see if there was like a hidden passage there. I thought it would be cool. <laughs> it seemed worth a shot to me. I'm gonna try and probably strengthen up a few times and see if uh, I can take care of this guy quickly. Neither of them are red, so I can't even use my red flames. Oh god, strengthen, evade, I, I had to miss the evade because of that. Evade! I don't know, it doesn't... It's very inconsistent how often that seems to work. Get out of here with that, dude! Swing! Right in the middle. Yes, okay. Got one guy off my, off my back, at least. I'm gonna, I have to heal, though. Shit, yeah, I can't, I can't do enough damage to this thing, I don't think. Uh, I'm gonna, I wanna try and use Pierce, though. Okay, I should probably just commit to that for the remainder of this battle. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have gambled on that if he would've got one more attack off. He might have, he, he probably could have finished me off. It was hmm, probably not worth the risk. It's playing a little fast and loose on that one. Needs 50, I'm going for it. It's one 150% increase. That's such a huge jump up. Please tell me I don't stay at, okay. I was hopeful I didn't stay down at two health. I should probably, I probably might as well eat a cookie. Mm, yeah, yeah, I think I should. Is there any puzzle to be solved here? 
It makes me think that maybe I'll drop things down from a higher floor, like Pokemon puzzle style or something. Actually, let me double check out here. No, I think I, I have to navigate through this. Waterfall, though. Uh, of course there's something behind the waterfall. You prod the reaper with the butt of your scythe. Ooh. I thought I saw a glimmer behind the waterfall, but it was a ghost. Thanks for coming here. I would have been lost for a while if it weren't for you. Three delicious donuts, deathlicious, and one milk. Oh, finally, something to go with my cookies there. They were starting to feel a little bland. No offense to the baker. Now that I have it in my inventory, it's suddenly become mork. <laughs> milk carton with, with milk misspelled. It fills your special mork. Delicious mork. Give, gives you plenty of vitamin R. It's a Simpsons reference. Except I think that's Malk. It's like not even Mork. Oh, this guy looks like he might count as a Red Reaper. Divide and conquer. No, 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 no. I, I don't. I don't want. I don't want that stacking up. No, oh, you can't. You can't. You can't keep dividing. Keep that to a minimum. I can't put up with fighting too many of these things. I'll get ruined. God damn. I have to try and stack up some special here though to try and. Okay. Okay, I could potentially, I could one-shot these things. I don't even know if I need to bother with red flame. I just have to try and, like, land decent hits. We'll call that decent, I think. No dividing. No more of that. You guys keep a lid on it. Oh, shit, did I just get to go twice? What happened? I, that was weird. I don't know why it made me do the, the swing thing twice, and I wasn't paying full attention. And then I didn't have to do it that time. I think it got interrupted and I don't know why it would have happened twice then. I don't know how that happened. That's a good way to pump up uh, the amount of spirit energy that you have though, is to, to fight those guys. Seemingly, it seemed like I gained it from every individual one of them I fought, not just, oh, is there gonna be like a secret wall in, in, a, in a surprising place around here? Nah, I think it's just that spirit energy that I just snatched up. Yeah, I don't know. Can you just, like, totally game that and let them keep generating over and over to give you more and more benefit? Hmm, I don't want to deal with that. I think I have to, because I can't... If I try to walk around it, it automatically accesses the ladder. Alright, we got a Damien, I think is what that guy's called. He's a red spirit, so I, I, I'm going to try and use my red flame on this guy. Damn it. <laughs> I could never seem to get the, that quite right on like the first attempt. Firing up. No, keep that. Keep that down. I don't want to see what kind of crazy amount of damage you could do or anything. Oh, he's, he's getting spicy. Get out of here with your gazes. Damn it. Oh, okay, it does quite a bit. Red flame didn't do as much as I thought it would. Shit. I mean, it was decent, I guess. It's better, better than doing like three. Come on, Lavender. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get you boosted up here. This is getting too, too intense. Ah, oh, it's too fast. Come on, evade. I think I did it too soon again. I get wigged out by that. I, I'm not good at the evading. I always do it slightly off of when I'm supposed to. Okay, okay. Now I should be able to just commit entirely to uh, pierces and just like do away with this guy relatively quickly. I, I have, you can pierce and gaze me and I'll pierce you. We'll just kind of trade back and forth in that way. It's it's fine. But you kind of you kind of build up a decent amount of the WP or the whatever it is, the energy at that point. Okay, that after all that, 90, 90. So I wouldn't have enough to do another health upgrade. Maybe that would be a bit excessive anyways. I'm gonna pump into strength a couple times. I could, uh, a slight special improvement. Defense, I really, really would like better defense, I think. Haste, uh, probably just makes you faster. Instead, I could just invest directly into that. Sleep. Uh, the spirit falls asleep for five turns and won't do anything. If you hit them, however, there's a high chance to wake them up. I should probably learn sleep. <laughs> that seems like it would be crazy useful. I think I collected everything from that little bonus area then. 
In that case, I think this is another reasonable place to, to put a stop on anything. It doesn't leave us on like an interesting cliffhanger or anything like that. I'm starting a new slave save slot. It remains to be seen how uh, much hidden content there is in this game, whether or not there's anything that branches or anything like that. But I would like to have myself multiple points of access because potentially, potentially after beating the game, I might fiddle around with it and do like a secrets and easter eggs and extra endings video for this game because there are multiple endings. I did, they do say that in the description page. So that's something I might, I might still do. So that's kind of why I'm starting to diversify my saves in case you're curious. But I bet no one was. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.